Welcome back to The Doctor Is In. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez. Ngayon, sanitizing our homes, especially during the time of a pandemic, should be a top priority. Now, common areas inside our house, like the kitchen and the bathroom, can be home to bacteria and viruses, which can eventually lead to diseases. Even our mobile devices carry these harmful organisms. Now, advances in technology offer new ways to disinfect and sanitize our homes. So to help us understand this new technology, we welcome to the show Chris Helgeson. He's the president and chairman of NanoFixit Ventures Incorporated. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you, Dr. Freddy Gomez. Thanks for having me on. Now, Chris, most people around the world face the threat of COVID-19 that, uh, that we all know. So in this day and age, are we still learning, uh, in this day and age that we are still learning about COVID-19, how can NanoFixit protect us from this novel coronavirus? Well, NanoFixit is currently trying to play its part in, in, in discovering and developing technology that can help us reducing the spread of viruses and bacteria in general. This is technology has been available for us for the longest time, but rarely been used. Uh, so it's, it's a side product of our general business that we have been doing for six years here in the Philippines since 2014, where we have developed high-end pr protection products for the electronics. The idea was to protect them for scratches and breakage, but a side effect of that product has always been that it also has a highly antibacterial effect that we have tried to uh, expose to the, to the market, but unfortunately, people has been a little bit ignorant to this topic prior to COVID-19. Uh, after COVID-19 broke loose, of course, people is paying more attention to sanitation. What can I do to protect myself? We currently living in a very, very difficult environment, uh, and, and we are shedding lights on the alternative technologies in the market. We are using a component called titanium dioxide, uh, which, which is a material that you find on this planet, and we break it down in the nano size. So we work on nano scale, which means we are on the level where molecule structure is smaller than the virus itself. Uh, we, we use two components in our antibacterial wipes. One of them is silver and one of them is titanium dioxide. Both of them is well known for ages to be highly antibacterial properties. When we break them down into nanoparticles, they become active and they start bonding with various kind of surfaces. Uh, to use uh, mobile phones as an example, where we are putting our coat on a glass surface, what our particles does, they will start bonding with the surface of the glass SOI2 and they become a part of your surface. Since they have so highly anti antibacterial properties, they start immediately to kill viruses and bacteria that's come in touch with that surface as long as the coat sticks. Yes, Chris, I'll continue. You, you were explaining on how this nanotechnology was good when it comes to our mobile phones and how it adheres to the glass surface. But how can this technology help in protecting our homes? Yes, so, so the basis of our technology and how our findings came, findings came across was for our mobile phone product that we have now sold throughout six years in 85 countries. We've deployed more than 60 million products around the world. Uh, and we have always known that it has a high antibacterial features as long as the coat sticks to the surface. Uh, after the COVID-19, we started to put more time and energy into research and development, how we can make pure antibacterial properties in order to disinfect your environment better than the way we do disinfect environments today. Today, the commonly known way to disinfect your homes, uh, your offices or uh, public areas has been used with high concentrated alcohol, which is very effective to kill viruses and bacteria. However, they work as long as the surface is wet with alcohol. As soon as the alcohol evaporates, uh, all, all the effect of the antibacterial is gone. Your surface is sterile, but it's open to receive new bacteria growth or virus growth. So what we have done, we have built antibacterial products in several segments. One for your gadgets, your homes, your surfaces at home like keyboards, uh, where you have high concentration of daily uses. Uh, then we have made products for cleaning purposes, for your home cleaning series, where we have added these kind of 
particles into your cleaning materials that will leave antibacterial properties on any surface that has been wiped clean with that product that will actively kill uh, viruses and bacteria in periods from three days to 30 days after cleaning has happened, which means you get a long-term effect and you're not exposed for getting bacteria, bacteria or virus growth in, in the area. Now, could you briefly explain to us as well, so aside from the cleaning products, you also have a mask, a face mask that utilizes nanotechnology as well. Yes. Uh, Back, back to the fact that these particles can bond with all kinds of surfaces, whether it will be glass, it will be wood, it will be stainless steel, uh, or fabric for that matter. So, so we are looking at how we can bond things with surfaces permanently, short term, and so on. So we are under development now and testing period of a new face mask that has been coated in the materials with high antibacterial and high antiviral properties, meaning when that mask is being hit by viruses or bacteria, instead of penetrating the mask or being stopped by the mask, they're actually being killed by the mask and the properties that is built into the fabric. I'm actually curious on how this product is able to be effective for up to 30 days. Could you explain that a little bit more, Chris, on how how this nanotechnology is able to disinfect things for, for up as long as 30 days. That's a pretty long time. Yes, uh, I, I am happy to try to explain that uh, in layman's terms so everybody try to understand it that is listening. Um, uh, it, the bonding effect is very different on the surface and the material that are applying it to. So when we are referring to a 30 days application process, we are referring to hard metal, stainless steel or glass surfaces. Because our nanoparticles, they will start bonding with the particles the material is made from. As we all know, everything that we see and touch around us is not solid, although with our visual eyes it looks solid. It is molecules standing vibrating together. So we will infuse particles on the molecule size that will fit with that. And they will start vibrating and bond with those molecules and create a part of the surface. And since they are highly antibacterial, they will act antibacterial during the uh, time the coat sticks. So we have products for glasses that last for 30 days, which is pure antibacterial. If we mix in SOI2, which is silicon dioxide, which is liquid glass, then you get the same effect, but for a longer period of time, because the bonding with SOI2 to SOI2 would last for up to a year, while a bonding for titanium dioxide to SOI2 would last for 30 days. We are now also currently developing hand sanitizer that will activate your cell spike structure in your skin that will have the same effect for your skin for up to 30 days. We are ready to deploy this product probably by next month, we have currently going undergoing international testing. Wow, I think it's truly amazing on how how advanced and where technology is has brought us today. And I, I think in this day and age of COVID nineteen, where where this threat cannot be seen, any advantage that people can get over this virus is definitely a a, a welcome, Chris. Now. My question is, what is the overall goal for this type of technology? I think our goal is to try to uh, help transit the global uh, way we live and the way we act. Because we are very easily to point fingers at governments today. We are all sitting in lockdown all over the world and everybody wants to get back to their everyday normal life. The government has to play their part of their role. But we as individuals also have to play our part in that role. So uh, to give you a very good example, we normally wake up every day in, in our beds. The first thing we do, we go and we take a shower. We use highly antibacterial soaps and shampoos. So when we walk out of there, we are pretty sanitized. We put on clothes that come straight out of the washing machine. They are pretty sanitized. We live in a house where we normally have cleaned it multiple or uh, multiple days a week or, or every day, uh, which means we live in a relatively sterile environment. But we need to look at which, which, which things do we carry around us every day where we have huge 
population growth of bacteria and viruses. So we have tried to figure out where do we have this high concentration of viruses that we keep on dragging around, which is increasing the spread of viruses and bacteria. The reason why we are focusing a lot on mobile phone, tablets, keyboards, and those kind of things, this is things we are in daily contact with several hundred times a day. And we have done multiple studies where we have found out that we have around 25,000 bacteria and viruses per square inch on every gadget we go around and carry around the world. This needs to be addressed. And it's not just the government that needs to take a responsibility. We need to take an individual responsibility from person to person as well. This is how we can go back to normal life eventually. Now, Chris, is this av already available in the Philippine market? Uh, and if so, where can people get a hold of it? Uh, yes, it is available in the Philippine market, but as you are, are well uh, aware of, uh, distribution, retail is complicated all over the world uh, and also here in the Philippines these days. Most of our product is widely available online throughout Amazon, Lazada, Shopee and so on. Most of the retail stores are closed, but as soon as they resume, we will make those products available throughout our, our, our uh, uh, normal retail uh, uh, places. And we are also working on various kind of business-to-business -business model with the government, with large corporations, like airlines, for instance. We are currently in talks with so, some of the largest airlines in the world, where they mandatory will start giving out phone sanitation to boarding passengers to reduce the risk of bringing 25,000 bacteria with them on the plane through every square inch of the gadgets they keep on carrying on board. So we're trying to interact with government, the private sector, and also, uh, on the, also the consumers to make sure that we reduce the exposure of, uh, uh, of dangerous bacteria and viruses these days. Well, thank you very much, Chris, for joining us today and for sharing your insights on this very interesting uh, form of technology on how it can disinfect uh, and sanitize uh, people's environments. Thank you so much for having me on. And uh, for further information, you can find us on uh, our website, which is www.nanofixit.com. Uh, we have uh, daily updated information, and we also have product-related information there. OK, thank you very much, Chris. And thank you also to all our viewers who joined us today. We'll be back again tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. on the CNN Philippines free TV and via CNN Philippines official Facebook page. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez. Ingat po tayong lahat.